I'm sure you'll agree on this fact that we are conceived from both male and female and therefore we have both masculine and feminine aspects to who we are. So th instead of thinking about masculine and feminine as polar opposite, think about masculine and feminine as complementing each other and creating a whole. So instead of asking yourself a question whether you are more predominantly masculine or feminine, see if you can ask that question that what do you need more of to become a whole human being? See, according to the yoga and meditation philosophy, the masculine aspect of you is called sun, is called Shiva, is symbolized by sun. And the feminine aspect of you is symbolized by moon and it's also called Shakti. So the whole meditation and yoga philosophy, the end result is a dance between Shiva and Shakti and how to combine these two powers to create a whole human being. We've already done a video on Ida and Pingla. So Ida is your moon channel. Pingla is your sun channel. So we'll talk about Ida in this video and we'll talk about what happens when the Ida, the left side of your body, left nostril, right brain, is not balanced. So imbalance can happen in two ways. Either the Ida, the channel, could be weak, which means there is not enough prana flowing through the body from the left side of the body. What happens then? What if it's overactive? What if there's too much prana, too much energy flowing through the Ida? So let's talk about the first aspect, which is if there is not enough energy flowing through the Ida. So think about it. When your moon channel is weak, first, you'll see lack of creativity in you. In the second, you'll feel lack of emotions or pleasure. And there's a scientific term called elixithemia. This is kind of an emotional colorblindness and prevents you from perceiving and expressing your different emotions. Third, you could have autism, which means you have inability to connect, socially interact with other human beings. Fourth, you could have lack of melatonin production, which can cause insomnia. You could probably wake up easily in the middle of the night or may have trouble sleeping. Fifth, you might feel that your life is becoming robotic, mechanical. Sixth, you might feel reactionary. Anything happens, you might feel irritated with the circumstances around you. Seventh, you might feel skeptic, you might feel lack of logic and confusion in your life. So these are the characteristics. If your left nostril, the Ida, is weak, which means there is not enough prana flowing through the left nostril. And I want to tell you something, that left nostril is specifically linked to certain chakras and the right nostril is linked to certain chakras. So when the energy starts flowing up, left nostril is related to sacral so it starts with the sacral chakra which is all about emotions and relationships and then it skips the chakra and goes to your heart chakra and then it skips and goes to your third eye so the ida can take you all the way to your third eye if it is balanced so let's find out what if ida is overactive but if there is too much energy flowing through your Ida, the left side of the channel. Ida is a mental channel, remember, and Pingala is the physical challenge. We'll talk about that in the next video. But now, let's talk about what happens when your Ida is overactive. You'll have obsessive compulsive disorder, which means you'll have too many racing thoughts going on. Even if you're sitting in your room, you might be thinking about checking the stove if it's turned off. Think about it, if the Ida, the feminine channel of your body is overactive, there is too much energy in it, then you'll feel the emotions more deeply. That means you'll be addicted to emotions and uh, coincidentally, our left nostril, which is the right brain, controls the parasympathetic nervous system, which also controls the secretions of the body. So the body can secrete through the eyes, so when 
there's too much energy repressed in the bodies. That's when you can have tears and body can let go of the excess, excess emotions through the tears. Body can let go of the excess pleasures through ejaculation, orgasm. Body can let go of the excess uh, stimulation in the tongue for food through uh, saliva. So all the secretions in your body are going to be overactive. You'll be overstimulated, which means you'll be addicted. You'll have a propensity or uh, addiction towards sex. Could be overeating, could be overcrying. Third one would be racing thoughts. So you would not be able to sleep properly because your mind is not at rest. You have all these thoughts racing all the time. So this was when the ida is weak or overactive. What happens when the ida is balanced? This is what we are striking. Through yoga and meditation, we want to be able to have the left side of our body, the ida, the channel, subtle body, balanced. Balance means you'll have equanimity of emotions. You'll be able to feel the emotions, yet you would not have to react. You'll be able to have samta, um, calm mind, peaceful mind. You'll be able to sleep properly without your thoughts racing. So these are some of the aspects of the left nostril dominance, the ida. And see in yoga, what we have to do is we have to become balanced in both the aspects, the ida and the pingla, the masculine side, which we'll talk in the next video. And we'll talk about what happens when the pingla is weak, when the pingla is overactive, and when it's balanced. And let me tell you this, the balancing of these nadis, the feminine and the masculine, is very important. Because if you don't balance the ida, it's not gonna let the energy go up. And if you don't balance the pingla, the energy is not going to go up to the higher chakras of your, our body, our subtle body. And in the next video, I'll describe which chakra is associated with which uh, channel. But in this video, I just wanted you to bring awareness on yourself that if you resonate with some of the characteristics of weak Ida or overactive Ida, or perhaps your Ida channel is balanced. So leave this in the comment section. Next video, we'll talk about how to balance these aspects and we'll continue going deeper and deeper into the pingla and how to balance and then eventually we'll go into sushumna how to um, open the the third channel the most important channel the sushumna nadi so until then my name is abhi dugal and i helped you create the life by design namaste and peace